Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Pooja T from Mahatma Gandhi Medical College. I'm here to present a paper on the topic role of MR spectroscopy in evaluation of ring enhancing lesions in brain. Introduction, the most common abnormality seen in CT or MRI in young Indian patients presenting with epilepsy are small ring or disc enhancing lesions. The two most common differential diagnoses of this lesion in clinical practice include neurocysticercosis and tuberculoma. These lesions may present as solitary or multiple and are characterized by a contrast enhancing halo with a non-enhancing center. It is still a challenge to differentiate neurocysticercosis and tuberculoma on MRI brain. The purpose of this study was to examine intracranial ring enhancing mass lesions with advanced MRI techniques, that is MR spectroscopy, and to evaluate the contribution of these techniques to differential diagnosis. Aim and objective to assess the role of MR spectroscopy as an adjunct to routine MRI in the evaluation of ring enhancing lesions. Study type cross-sectional observational study, keywords neurocysticercosis and tuberculoma. Study. The study is performed in the Department of Radiology in Mahatma Gandhi College and Research Institute. Philips 1.5 Tesla machine was used for the study. 64 patients with intracranial ring enhancing lesions on post-contrast MRI were included in the study. Once the routine sequences were over, a, a MR spectroscopy was done and analyzed for N-acetyl aspartate, choline, creatine, and lipid uh, lactate peak. Additional peaks, succinate, acetate, amino acid were also analyzed. Role of MR spectroscopy in confirmation or modification of the diagnosis or in narrowing of the differential diagnosis were studied. Results were correlated with clinical follow-up. Findings obtained with the addition of advanced MR imaging techniques were correlated with the final diagnosis and its usefulness over conventional MRI was studied. This is an image of tuberculoma, T2 and post uh, contrast image showing ring enhancing lesions with surrounding perilesional edema in the left cerebellar lobe and vermis. Largest lesion is noted in the left cerebellar lobe. MR spectroscopy in the same patient shows lipid lactate peak. This is a case, another case of tuberculoma. A ling enhancing lesion is noted in the right frontal lobe. The lesion shows surrounding T2 bar flare hyperintensity, uh, hyperintense signal in the right frontal lobe, suggestive of surrounding perilesional edema. There was no evidence of blooming on FFE sequence. The lesion shows evidence of lipid lactate peak on MRS. This is a case of a neurocysticercosis showing ling enhancing cystic lesion in the right occipital lobe, that is the parasagittal region. Uh, the MRS in this shows evidence of amino acid peak. Statistics, patient who had intracranial ring enhancing lesions were analyzed by MR spectroscopy. 64 patients were included in the study. These include 34 male and 30 female. Age range of the patients were between 10 to 80 years with mean age of 32.4 years. Distribution of various lesions. Neurocysticercosis was seen in 20 patients. Tuberculoma was seen in 27 patients. Tumor, 16 patient. Hematomatous lesion, 1 patient. Results. Neurocysticercosis showed uh, evidence of elevated lactate, alanine, and succinate levels. There was reduced levels of N-acetyl aspartate and choline. Tuberculoma showed decreased choline N-acetyl aspartate and choline creat ratios, and 80% or 80 percentage of them predominantly had lipid lactate peak. Tumor predominantly showed increased choline peak. High-grade glioma also showed evidence of lipid lactate peaks. From our study, we found very specific marker for tuberculoma, lipid lactate peak, and for neurocysticercosis, amino acid peak. The accuracy of diagnosis was higher with additional advanced MR imaging techniques to conventional MR than with conventional MR alone. Discussion. In day-to-day -day clinical practice, the diagnosis of intracranial ring enhancing lesions may not be always straightforward. 
the clinical history and neurological findings may sometimes be ambiguous the differentiation of the lesion and narrowing of the differential diagnosis in the radiological report may be a tool to guide the patients for the management in this context the addition of advanced mr imaging tool like mr spectroscopy to the routine conventional mri may serve as a problem solving tool the mr spectroscopy predominantly showed lipid lactate peak in tuberculoma and increased amino acid peak in neurocysticercosis with the use of advanced mr imaging technique the accuracy of diagnosis significantly increased thus the value of these advanced imaging tools as an adjunct to routine conventional mri was appreciated conclusion mr spectroscopy serve as valuable and extremely useful adjunct imaging tool in characterization and accurate diagnosis of intracranial ring enhancing lesions to differentiate between neurocystic sarcosis and tuberculoma these are my references thank you